We don't want to put um, emergency service workers at risk. Turn it on, baby. <laughs> turn it on. I don't know how to turn it on. Have a comment. Do you like our new shirts? Oh, I wasn't going to talk about that, but yeah. Turn it on. I don't know how to turn it on. Hi everyone, welcome back. And this is a pretty exciting episode because we're going to announce our big trip, which we're about to head off on. Yes, so tomorrow we are heading off to Outback Australia. Now the funny thing is we had a plan and we're not actually sure if that plan is going to go ahead. Um, as you know, Australia is a land of contrast with drought and flooding rains. And of course, it looks like the flooding rains are going to interfere with this plan that we've got. We are known as the rain gods with all of our friends because anytime we go camping or plan trips, it always seems to rain. So um, admittedly, it was months ago, but the rains are slowly working their way down. So one of our goals was the Simpson Desert, but that's now currently what? How would you describe the Simpson Desert at the moment? Okay, so at the moment the Simpson Desert is only open from the western side, not from the eastern side, because Air Creek is in flood. Um, Two metres deep. Yeah, and that's at the bypass road. Um, obviously that's going to go down because we're going to take a week or so to get out there. Um, so we could get through or we could not. Who knows? But the whole goal of this trip is to get to the three corners of southwestern Queensland. So that is Popal's, Haddon's and Cameron's Corner. And um, that is the main goal. That's the plan. We've, and look, we're, we're also very sensible about it. So we've got, we've got backup plans. We're not going to, um, we're not going to be silly. We're not going to put ourselves in, in danger, uh, both for, for safety reasons, but also don't want to damage our cars and vehicles. But also too, we don't want to put um, emergency service workers at risk. We've seen just recently where there's been people rescued from the Simpson, etc., stuff like that. Um, we just don't need to put ourselves in that situation or put them in that situation, have them come out and rescue us. Mm -hmm. We have got a plan B, C, D, E, F. <laughs> yeah. So we've got lots of, lots of plans as backups. I'm not sure if you can see the board behind us, but we actually have been doing a lot of contingency plans. Um, you know, That's two. Yeah, so we've got a plan B version 3, we've got a plan C. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to be going, we want to do plan A, that is still a plan, but we will make the call in the next, well, the next few hours whether we're going to be plan A or plan B. The only difference is a couple of slight items to pack, isn't it? Things like the swag and stuff like that. They're all very simple stuff to put in. The rest of the preparation is exactly the same, no matter which way we go, uh, because it's all self-supported the whole way through. So. We'll make the call as late as we possibly can, and we're using all the uh, reporting systems we can find. So there's reports coming through from the policemen out there, um, from a number of the stations out there, and also a number of the um, pubs, etc. as well. Their social medias are amazing. So like Birdsville, yeah. um, the Birdsville and the Mount Dare uh, social media is incredible as far as up-to-date information. And um, even the outback roads from South Australia, I, I want to say... South Australia Department of Transport. That's not their official name. I've forgotten what their official name is, but because we're in Queensland, we're so used to saying, you know, transport and main roads. Um, but that equivalent in South Australia, what they do, how often they update their website with opening and closing of the outback roads, it's a real credit mm. to them. So for travellers, um, it's definitely a, a website that you need to keep an eye on. Stark contrast to the sadly to the Queensland one, which where we are, it's probably the most horrific website ever. It's extremely out of date, uh, hard to find the information. It's it's a bit disappointing, um, but the majority of the roads that we're that are closed, etc., and that we're we're obviously having to make contingency around are in either South Australia or the Northern Territory. So. Uh, there's only a couple that are Queensland based that are a major issue. So yeah, so look, stay with us. We're going to be um, we're going to be updating as we go along. I might get Lisa to give you a quick rundown in a second about where we're actually going. Let's leave it as a surprise because so I may look. I may not really know myself because I don't know if we're going A, B, or C. Um, but in in a nutshell, no, we're heading west. <laughs> we're heading west and we're heading to the desert. Um, Birdsville is definitely part of our trip. Um, and where to from there, we, you know, we're actually going to have to make yeah. some um, decisions on the fly. 
Um, it's probably going to be fine going to Birdsville. Um, well, and Birdsville at the stage is open, so there's, there's no issue. Well, as in it's just been opened. So four-wheel drive only, which is no problems, that's us. So Birdsville's a definite. That's where the plan varies quite a lot. Yeah, the road so. to Big Red's a bit sloppy, I believe. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to be, be um, you know, we, we'll... Look, we're travelling on our own and... Yeah, self-supported. Yeah, so we, we, we're not going to make any stupid decisions. We'll be quite safe. Um, but I think what you need to do is we're going to try and do live streams. I wasn't going to talk about that, but yeah. But you're not? No, I was going to keep that as a surprise, but it's okay. Keep going. <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but... Okay, so my, my goal was originally, and this is if we can but do plan A. you don't have to eight. tell them where. Oh, okay. All don't right. tell Sweet. them where. Okay. Leave that a surprise. The, yeah, the goal was to do some live streams, yes. Yeah. So, so we bought um, Starlink. So we've got um, satellite uh, coverage out there and, um, and a generator as well, specifically for that to try and start live stream. So um, definitely, as long as there's no technology issues and, and stuff like that, that is the goal. At least definitely a couple of times. Um, and I want to do them from key points. So some pretty significant points. Yeah. So we're hoping that when we do have signal um, either via you know our normal phones or via Starlink, We'll definitely be uploading some photos. We'll probably be uploading some little short videos. Yep. Um, definitely those live streams. Um, we need to work out no matter what social media that you watch, we're hoping to um, you know, link into most of them. We'd really love if you all could join us and, and um, on this journey. So follow, like I said, follow us on the social media. So Lisa's got Instagram, Facebook. It's all obviously Filthy Jeep Adventures. It's really simple to find us in all of them. And obviously, if you're watching this, would love if you'd like and subscribe to follow our journey. And, um, and please, heaps of comments. Let us know what you love, what you don't love, so we can capture as much as we can to encourage people to get out there and have fun. Because we've spent too many years working and not getting out and having fun. Yeah. And enjoying this amazing country. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're in Australia or in America or whatever, just get out and enjoy the outdoors. Yes. And, um, of course, have a comment. Do you like our new shirts? We've actually got some filthy Jeep adventure shirts. Just for so, the trip. Yeah, just for the trip. So um, let us know what you think of our design and, um, you know, and as, you, as you'll see us, as we put up on social media, we've got various colours because, you know, you can't wear the same thing all the time. We've actually um, signed written the Ute app too. The Ute's got some um, branding on it now. Not too much. It's, it's fairly, well, it's not subtle, but it's fairly subtle, if you know what I mean, compared to some, some channels. So uh, that's pretty cool. That's exciting. Once we do some videos, love some feedback on what you think of the year as well. And if you do need someone to break the drought in your area, please drop us an email and uh, we'll do our best to come and visit. And you will receive flooding <laughs> rains. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yep, can't wait. Look, it's going to be great. Um, please like and subscribe. Follow us along. And uh, like I said, heaps of comments. Let us know what you think. And we will see you in the desert. See you. Bye. Bye.